Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to call this part two because uh, I hit the wrong button, <laughs> to be honest with you, so I have to do part two. Guys, we left off with the last collective read. This karmic is using children as a pawn to keep them there. They know that you are their soulmate. They're deeply depressed. Okay, your energy is all around this person. Let's get some financial news for these soulmates in separation. Yeah. There's some confusion regarding money. People are not following through on their promises to pay on time. Expected money uh, is not going to materialize for this person. Like I said, they're dealing with unreliable people who are breaking their promises financially. They're not paying this person back. They've been giving money and loaning money, but... Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. This is not a good time to rush in, pay attention to every detail. Careful not to get involved with any get-rich-quick schemes. And that's what they did. That's why they're experiencing a huge financial loss. They may have done something unethical. Someone is stealing. And it is about their money. Oh, Jesus. You're putting yourself out there. You're being the best that you can do. You're drawn to careers in theater, dancing, music, or any other type of entertainment. You're turning your talents into money. And you're saying yes to the things that you thought that you couldn't do, you're doing. Yeah. See, they got problems with money. They're dealing, you're getting recognized for your work. And they're sitting here in denial. They've been putting on a false front to make money. They're pretending they're going through a financial loss and they're denying in denial about this money scam. They don't want to believe that they were had. Stuff like that. They were had. <laughs> they let the world lead them. See? It's all about money in their world. And they're denying that people are stealing from them. They're in denial. Oh, they'll pay it back. They'll pay it back. They're not paying it back. They need a helping hand financially. something to do with business that they did and they're dealing with people who are stealing their money it's that simple doing things unethical these people were promising to pay back money but they're not paying it back you're leveling up and I'm telling you it's about parenthood. Oh, geez, man. You're manifesting money in your life and they're losing it. I don't know if these are children that are taking their money or it is to do with 
who they're dealing with. Fakes, fakes, thieves is who they're dealing with. While you're getting blessings, harmonious relationships with family, the happily ever after, I'm telling you, you're on a new beginning, starting a new life, finding your purpose, and forgiving and compassionate review of the past solutions, success that comes from an objective compromise, self-control and patience, a forgiving and healing energy. Everything is working out for you financially and they need to detoxify from whoever they're around. Yeah, their guides are telling them there's a better course of action. Review the details. It's about investments. You're getting prosperity, okay? They've been told. They've been told, beware, beware. Here you are, single, confident, abundant. A, you may have had a wonderful new idea. They want to clear up some problems. They were told, stay in their integrity. Calls for honest and open communication. Let's find out what's really going on here. Everything on their side of the table is about financial loss. Everything, trusting the wrong people, investing in the wrong people. It's all about money and they're sitting in denial. Oh no, they'll pay it back. They'll, they'll never pay it back. Going through family issues and the whole time this person is thinking of you see dealing with people that are always partying maybe they're buying their friendships maybe they're spending all their money on their friends partying drinking living it up same shit different day Fishing for comments. You know what I mean? Oh, God. Why? Is because they feel rejected. They were a player. And they want you back. They're trying to ignore and dust off all their problems. They got legal problems. <laughs> Big ones. Dealing with courts, judges, lawyers, immigration. They may have been turned down for a passport or denied entry to a, com a country or the person they're dealing with and they're holding a child as a hostage. That's why they were ghosting you. Acting cold. Your success is triggering this person. They may have blocked you off social media. Maybe you block them off social media. It's your light disturbs their demons. <laughs> they got you're too busy winning. Oh, they, so then we got made an offer. They might be dealing with child services or Paying for lawyers, judges, immigrations, it's all to do with money. Loaning money, giving money, people stealing money from them. There could be child neglect involved, 
people thinking that they have money but they don't have money karmic friends i'm telling you they're going bankrupt <laughs> This person was denying. They were simply in denial. See, at one time, this person had, you know, money at some type. Or was like a business owner. You know, somebody thought they were a hot shot or a big deal. And now they're going bankrupt. Some They made a dirty offer. And now their head's all in the clouds. This karmic was just chasing them, giving them money, a controlling lover, kissing ass for money. Now this person is waiting. They might be losing their vehicles. They might have had their car issues, having no car. And maybe they're like, oh, can you buy me a car? Can you loan me money to buy, pay my bills? I've got this going on, that going on. This person is hand doling out the cash. All up in their head. Dealing with people who were just fakes. They were ignoring it all. That these people ain't shit that they're dealing with. And they feel like they've been stole from. Okay? They are dealing with thieves. And they may not even have enough money to move. And now they feel they've lost their last chance with you. You're unfazed. So somebody was clout hungry, impersonating, you know, copycatting you and your energy. And they're haunted and they're lonely. They were in their ego, but they are definitely looking you up, reflecting on it all. See, you're not bothered. You're moving on, and they could, oh, they're being intimidated. It's just a bunch of mind games. Okay, they're dealing with thieves. Your person is not the brightest person. They, you know, I'm not saying they're stupid because they're not. It's just that... They may have been a business owner. They may have had money. And everybody is using them for the resources. You're like, no thanks, man. I might be lonely, but I'm moving on. I'm going to focus in on my career, my work, my whatever. I'll bring in myself my own happiness. And they are watching you be happy. getting a lot of attention. Now you could be in the spotlight. You could be on social media. You're trusting your intuition and you're moving in silence. Silent success. You, some of you are on stage. Some of you are performers. Some of you are getting a major glow up. This person's in love with you. They see you as this angel. Hmm. They might go through a friend to communicate with you. Or they're hearing from a friend that you are getting this major glow up or reward, the truth is they want to talk to you. <clears throat> but they're stuck with a child that <coughs> it's gossip. Too much gossip. Someone's stirring the pot, stirring up trouble. And it could be a child. Okay? Drinking, partying, financial advice, legalities. Damn, so you know what?
chasing after wind. That's what they're doing. There is somebody that they're very pissed off at. It's another masculine energy. It's about legalities. It's about courts. It's about judges. It's, it's like this person wants to give up. They got children involved. Maybe it's their kids. Maybe it's they're being controlled by a baby mama. It's over a business, over finances, child support, alimony, legalities. Maybe now they could be arguing and fighting with whoever this baby mama was married to or divorced from. And it's about, I got to go to court. I got to do this. I got to do that. They're paying, paying, paying. It's all planned. And quite honestly, slow and steady wins the race. You've walked away and I told you it's jealousy, envy of your relationship, jealous and envious of your glow up, jealous and envious of your legacy. Heartbreak. It's become overwhelmed. This person feels foolish. Because you might be moving on, but they haven't. They were blindsided. They didn't want to see the truth. They're in denial. These people that they're dealing with are greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Told you, it's about money. They're paying, paying, paying for their friendships. Paying to be involved with these karmics and these karmic friends. They're thieves. They're greedy. They just take this person's money. But they're sitting here denying it all. Like, oh no, they wouldn't do that to me. I told you. It's loans, payments. This person was just ignoring all the signs. Ignoring all the clues. It was a plan, okay? They could have got scammed. It could be blackmail. It's like they're just easily led. Now, this person, they regret whatever they did, okay? Maybe they felt sorry for these people. Here, let me help you out. Oh, I could work, you know. Oh, I'll work on this. I'll just work harder. I'll loan you the money. This person's an idiot. This is the other lover. Friends. And they're friends. Family. Oh my God. It's just high drama. Fighting and arguing about money. Fighting and arguing about the kids. Fighting and arguing about these friends. Fighting and arguing, period. This person really needs to, yeah, as long as they're giving money, they don't care. It's high drama. Self-sabotage, I don't know. Oh, I'm so scared I'm going to lose my car. I'm so scared I'm going to lose my home. I'm so scared I'm going to lose my job. All these karmic and karmic friends. And this person's like, oh, I can loan you money. I can loan you money. But they're never paying it back. They're trying to be like the knight in shining armor. Okay? They're going broke doing it. Told ya. Manipulating them out of their money. 
they think they're so genuine. Oh, they'll never do that to me. They're loyal, they're dependable, they're reliable. No, brothers, sisters, they're manipulative. Manipulating you out of your money. And I know some of them are watching. They are financially manipulative. Manipulating to get money and this person is going bankrupt doing it. They're depressed about money. Got to learn a lesson sometime. They shouldn't have trusted these people, okay? They manipulated this person into breaking up with you. Manipulating this person out of their money. It is about money and that is it. There is no love there. There is no anything there but money. Money manipulation. That's it. Nothing else. Just feeding this person's ego. Just saying. I guess it's their own karma. They're trapped. In a cycle that they need to break free of. You broke free. That's their shadow work. Hmm. This karmic blocked your messages to keep this person from coming toward you. That's why they were hot and cold. Breakup. To cause a breakup. Dealing with thieves, I'm telling you. This karmic is a thief. They're faking that they got money. Oh, when I get paid, I'll pay you back. I'll do this. This person can't even pay their payments. They're loaning this karmic money. It's the karmic, the karmic friends, karmic family, karmic everything. It's a complete thief, theft. I got money coming in. It's a lie. I'll pay you back. It's a lie. Cutting you up. Causing a tower, see? Because they needed money. It's all a secret. You know what I mean? To confuse this person. Hmm. This person is all up in their head. And it's about they're thinking about you. They got love on the brain. They're confused. They're being it's an illusion. This investment that they made with this karmic is an illusion. It is all based on greed, money greed. It's an illusion. I'm getting a headache. So I know this person is getting headaches. And you are protecting yourself. You are protecting your money. You are protecting, you've set up boundaries. What's wrong with this person? Just trying to be popular with everybody? It's making them go broke. Why don't they take the blinders off? Like... 
Seriously. I want to see how many friends this person has when they're broke ass. Just saying, this person's mentality, like I remember, guys, giving my own children shit for that and the friends and the company you keep when they were teenagers. And I remember telling my children when they were teenagers, yeah, we'll see how many friends you have when it comes payday. Sure as heck, payday come around. You got every friend in the world. Between paydays, if you got nothing to offer, they don't bother with you. This person is being hustled, scammed. Completely. And they likely never listened to you. You probably warned this person you're being manipulated and they get all defensive with you. No, they're sincere. No, they're good. No, they're good. No, they're not good. They're greedy and they are manipulating for money. Which is why you gotta let them learn the hard way. I used to get so angry at my kids when they would do that. I'd be like, this is when they're teenagers, man. They would have every friend under the sun when it came payday. And my kids made good money, like they had good jobs, eh? And you'd see all these girls and all these guys come around. Every time they knew when it was payday, like clockwork. That's what's happening to this person. But they never grew out of that phase. It is a phase, a phase in which this person never grew out of. So that's why they got to hit rock bottom. My kids were no different, but these are adults. They're not children. My kids did that when they were teenagers. So this person's emotional development is staggeringly slow. They believe everybody's good, you know, they're believing all these people are genuine and sincere and they're con artists. Very good ones. They're being hustled. And, the, and their energy is making me angry. Which is part of the reason why I'm not in a relationship, guys. Just to be honest with you. I don't want to be someone's parent. Like, man, I used to get so angry at my kids for being hustled like that. They learned, though. You know what I mean? They learned. 
Yeah, it's payday. No, I never got that money back. Can you pay me back? No, I got no money. I'm broke. Oh, I got car issues. Oh, I got to pay for a lawyer. I'm going through this. I'm going through that. I can't pay you back right now. I'm broke. Been there, done it. But like I said, I did that with my kids when they were teens. I got no patience for that bull. I don't. I don't have patience using a, a kid, you know, as a scapegoat, children, to control. Whatever. You know what? Some of these kids are adults and they're hustling their folks just to be real. Hmm. Just high drama, man. Who could handle it? It's just like high drama. I don't know. This person needs to do some growing up in a big way. Even though they're adults, they're immature. Acting like teenagers, you know. Well, they're going to have to hit rock bottom because they're not learning any other way. Just saying. And some of them married these karmics and now they're feeling like a fool. They're, they are being made a fool of. They're making a fool of themselves, but they're making, these karmics are making fools of them, to be real. Jesus, their energy frustrates me, guys. But they don't want to hear you. And I know many of you tried to warn these people, but they think, oh no, their friends are smart. Their friends are idiots. Sorry, they are. And they'll figure that out when everyone, you know, hides. When they go to collect, they know damn well they're not going to get it back. It's not happening. Take care, everyone, and good luck.